Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Super Squad channel where today, I know what you're probably thinking, that's a lot of diecast. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, probably not the wisest financial decision, but <laughs> it was a very fun one. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, today we have a humongous diecast haul video, including a bunch of old vintage diecast. There's some guy from 1957 here. And up till 2021 so yeah we got a bunch to cover from like almost every decade i think um yeah this is gonna be pretty fun let's go ahead and i guess we'll just take them all out of the packages i know some people don't like taking it out but i like taking it out because i like to actually be able to touch them hold them feel them so yeah let's go ahead and get them out in three two one and actually, you know what? I started taking out the Funko Pop that I had over there. Um, but I just realized I should probably go over all these guys' names first. Because uh, I will probably forget. That way I don't have to go back and check. That way you guys already know who's who. And that way if you forget, you can scroll back. Because, um, yeah, there's there's a lot to cover here. So uh, we have a 26 here of uh, Sammy Swindle from 1993. Uh, we have a short track champion thingy here. I, just a late model of uh, Dick Trickle. Then here we'll have a Crown Racing number 20 car of Rob Moroso. Uh, here we have a Carolina Kid. Okay. <laughs> a Buick right here. Here we have another uh, late model of Harry Grant. Uh, here we have uh, Tommy Hudson in a pretty old looking car right here. Uh, here we have Shauna Robinson in the number 46 Polaroid car. Jeff Gordon's number one Baby Ruth car. Uh, Mike Skinner's number three Good Wrench car. Dale Earnhardt's 1994 Good Wrench Chevrolet Lumina. Dale Earnhardt's 1980 uh, Mike Curb. Mike Curb. Hmm. Car, number two. Uh, and Dale Earnhardt's 1975 Dodge number eight, a 10,000 speed equip car. Um, then here we have a 1960 Richard Petty. This one's pretty cool. Then over here, another really cool one Mario Andretti's, a 1967 number 11 car. Here we just have a regular old Hot Wheels 44. I'll just say it's a test car. <laughs> I think this is one of the Andretti's. Who is it? John Andretti. You know, I actually didn't even plan for both of them to be next to each other. <laughs> I was just randomly putting them out, and I have both the Andretti's next to each other. That's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, the number 43 Grand's car. Then here we have Brett Bodine's number 26 Quaker State car. Uh, here we have Martin Truex Jr. Bristol Dirt race win. Uh, Eric Jones's U.S. Air Force car. Corey LaJoy's uh, throwback Zertex car. Daniel Suarez's Tootsie's car. Brad Keselowski's E Casket of Car. A 1994 Davy Allison car right here. Then over here we have a 1957 Joe Lee Johnson car. Here's Chase Elliott's car from the second Darlington race. Uh, this is Chase Elliott's 2021 Lumar Coda Wind car. And finally, rounding out the field, we have. I have no clue. <laughs> Who is this? It does not say. All right, well, if you guys know who this is, whenever we get to him, maybe I can zoom in on that whenever we get to uh, getting to his section of the review. I'll uh, be able to see the name. But let's go ahead and finally take them out of the packages now. In three, two, one. All right, so it took a while, but I finally got all of these out of the packaging. It took me a solid, like, 20 minutes. I do save the boxes or packaging for the older ones i save it for some of the newer ones uh but yeah so all the older ones i do save the packaging just in case because uh, i know some people like to keep it in there and just like it's more valuable still in the box but i just like to have it you know physically in my hands where i can touch it feel it you know look at all the cracks and crevices go like this just because drive it around on a track like this one speaking of this track this is actually a brand new track i made uh, I made it up completely. I'm calling it Lakeland International Speedway. It's the Super Squad 400 at the road course here. Pretty uh, 
nice basic layout got a little turtle there uh you know a little basic road course configuration you could barely see it over under all the die cast but i think it came out pretty decent still not completely finished with it i need to add some more decaling or not decals uh sponsor stickers but yeah i think it came out pretty decent uh, but anyways, uh, we have 27 diecasts here plus the Funko Pop, so that makes 28 things to go over today. And I mean, I guess we'll go ahead and start off with said Funko Pop. So it's just a basic little Chase Elliott Hooters number nine fire suit. Um, yeah, I mean nothing much to it. And he's got the hat, the sunglasses. That's the one. The previous one didn't. Uh, speaking of the previous one, here is the previous Chase Elliott Funko Pop. Just so you can get a good comparison of the two. Looking pretty good. Got both of uh, them. Slightly different color black for the uh, hair this time around. That's interesting. But yeah, pretty cool. Uh, Chase is my favorite driver, so that's why I got this Funko Pop of him. And yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. I know you guys all want to look at this, so I'll go ahead and get to the rest. All right, so where to start? Um, I guess we'll go ahead and start off with... This number 44 Hot Wheels car, because, I mean, you know, it, it's just a plain old Hot Wheels generic stock car. Nothing special, I mean, unless it is special, then why don't you let me know in the comments down below. But I'm pretty sure this is just nothing special. Just a typical Hot Wheels car with, like, barely any detail. Just a 44 Hot Wheels Mattel. Nothing on the sides at all, or the back, or the front. It's the generic stock car. <laughs> so yeah, there's that one. We'll mark one off. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to, I think this was a Hot Wheels one too, but this one actually has some more quality in it. Uh, this was... Oh, I forgot who this was already. <laughs> well, good thing I showed you guys at the beginning because I already forgot who it was. Uh, but this is an old Buick uh, the, from... And the sponsor is a Rose's Discount Store. Man, I remember seeing the name... And I forgot it already. I'm so ashamed of myself. <laughs> but this is a number six car. It looks pretty cool. You know, I'm going to go take a look at the name. <laughs> okay, so it's Tommy Houston or Hudson. However you say that. <laughs> okay, I feel so much better. The number six of Tommy Houston. <laughs> Buick Roses discount store car. Pretty cool. I like this one. The number font is really unique. That's the thing I like the best about it. The rest is just, eh, it's all right. Uh, you know, Hot Wheels quality. At least, like, when they make it like this isn't really the best. Some of it's cool. Like, the front area looks pretty nice. And, like, I guess the mold itself. But, like, the tires are pretty pretty funky. Uh, paint job could use a little work. But still pretty cool. Very cool. I, I love that six font. That's really creative, really cool. And, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to, I guess, I don't even know who I should move on to next. All right, so I guess we'll just stick with the theme of guys that I don't know. So I have no clue who this is, but they drove the number 7 Mac Tools car. Looks pretty cool. I like this. It's a nice, simple scheme. The die cast itself, like, this is a chunky die cast. Like, let me... Look, look at this. For an older die cast, usually the older die casts are small. Look at it. Chunky boy. It's taller than the regular old ones. And it's thick, too. Like, usually they're a lot thinner. And these tires, bro, look at these tires. Like, all the features are super exaggerated. Like, oh my gosh, bro, what is this? <laughs> what is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's move that back. And yeah, I have no clue who this is, and I cannot tell what that says here. Let me zoom in for you guys. I cannot tell what that says. It doesn't help that, uh, for some reason, they skipped my grade in teaching cursive. So, like, the only thing I know how to do is sign my name and, like, maybe some basic words. That's it. They skipped my grade for some reason. Then they started teaching it again, but they completely skipped my grade, which sucks. But, yeah, so if you guys know who this number seven car is driven by, let me know in the comments down below. And it was a Chevy Lumina, by the way. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you guys know. All right, so sticking with the Chevy Luminas, we have the number 46 Polaroid car of Shauna Robinson. This is a pretty cool scheme. It's nice, basic, simple, gets to the point. Looks pretty neat. Silver spoiler is a little weird. It'd be better if it was white, but still pretty cool. I like it. Very nice. 
pretty nice font as well. I got a little Napa logo there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, this is another chunky diecast. It has rubber tires, which is nice. Also, Hoosier tires as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is another really fat, chunky old diecast for some reason with exaggerated features. But you know what? It's cool. I like it. It makes it unique, stand out. Very, very cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so let's do another guy. I have no clue who this is. Uh, Rob Moroso, or Moroso, or something. I have no clue how you say that last name. Moroso? I, I don't know. That's saying it in Spanish. <laughs> uh, yeah, what even, what kind of tires is this? Champions Racing Tires? Oh, I think that's just generic tires for uh, the people who made the car that way they don't have to license that but anyways it's the crown extra car uh if you guys have some like fun facts like for any of these guys too like if you guys have any fun facts about any of the drivers let me know in the comments down below i love to learn about uh the history of nascar and the drivers and stuff like that the cars but yeah other than that uh very nice scheme and a little bit of error there something happened um yeah really cool i like it it's nice basic simple gets to the point cool looking race car got uh what's that fast fare on the back right there crown again looks cool i like it looks very very old <laughs> anyways let's go ahead and move on to the next one all right so let's take a break from doing the old diecast and let's get to some of the newer ones so this is eric jones's u.s air force car it does come with a sticker right here but who cares about that uh, here is the car itself. I loved this scheme. It's so great. I love this Eric Jones paint scheme. It's a lot better than the one uh, that they were running a few previous years. Just the plain black one. Or not plain black one. The plain gray one. Even though the shark teeth were cool, I just love having the pop of color. It just looks so much better. Like if they had, like if there's a one that has this amount of color and the shark teeth, that would be amazing. But I don't think they do. <laughs> but yeah, really, really cool car. They seriously downgraded for this year. They have this ugly green, nasty one. Looks like diarrhea green. <laughs> yeah, I liked the, the gray ones better. Because at least they stand out a little. But yeah, especially this one with the pop of red and yellow and black on the gray base. Looks really cool. Really, really slick. Uh, speaking of the old car... Let's go ahead and compare it with it. Uh, so right here. So yeah, front of the car. Like if they were, like if there's a version that has this with the colors of this, they need to make that into a paint scheme ASAP. But yeah, really, 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 really cool. I definitely prefer this one. Just looks so much better, so much cleaner. And uh, yeah, let's go to move on to the next diecast. All right, well, you already saw a brief glimpse, glimpse of it when I was comparing it with some of the chunky cars, so I guess I might as well get this car out of the way, Chase Elliott's 2021 Lumar Coda win. Uh, so, I mean, it doesn't have too many uh, details from it being like a race version, but the ones it does have are pretty nice, even though Lionel kind of messed up here. I don't know what's going on here, but they did not do the gradient right right there. That is way too sudden of a transition right there. Let me look at that. It doesn't even transition good. Like, that's uh, no bueno. That's no good. It's fine right here in this area, but it does not do the grading here, and that's just not good. But uh, it does have some of the grill tape, some debris, and you might be asking, wait, why are the tires, uh, the Goodyear on the tires, white? Aren't they supposed to be yellow? This isn't a throwback. Well... These are the rain tires. I'm pretty sure they put the rain tires on the diecast, and the rain tires are white. I'm 99% sure that's what it is. <laughs> but yeah, it also has this little, these little side skirt dots, the thing for the jack, uh, this little part for the window. The Napa logo is crunched up a little bit from it being raced. A uh, little damage there, from, probably from contact. Napa Auto Parts up there, Elliot Lumar, a little bit of scratching back there, the blacked out thing from the exhausts, yeah, pretty decent, uh, I always wish that they're, like, the, that the winning car has, like, more 
stuff going on with it just so that the race winds are better looking or at least some confetti but yeah oh it also has the uh little camera things right there chevy lumar things right there but yeah comparing it with the original die cast it's not too big of a difference like if you were to look at it from far away the biggest difference you'd notice is probably the tires the lettering being different colors because other than that it is extremely similar like there's not too many like you can see some minor differences here and there but yeah it's not that big a difference only reason i got it is because i'm a chase elliott fan uh the napa logo on the rear quarter panel is bigger but yeah not too many differences unfortunately um but yeah still pretty nice um Again, I got it only because I'm a Chase Elliott fan. If not, I probably wouldn't have. But, yeah, still pretty cool to have. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so one more of the uh, modern diecasts, and we'll get back to some of the uh, older vintage ones. And, I mean, I'd say this is a pretty good one to uh, wrap up for now the newer diecast on Martin Truex Jr.'s Bristol Dirt Race win. This is a pretty cool one. Uh, it came with a card. I prefer the cards, honestly, over the stickers because the stickers are just annoying. They're flappy. This is a little more sturdy, durable, but the magnets are always the best. The magnets or the hoods are always the best. And then the cards, obviously, if it's a race win. Yeah, there's uh, all the little facts and stuff right there you can see. Pretty cool. Number 51, Auto Owner's Truck for Martin Truex Jr. You see all the dirt and grime that got on it during the race pretty cool i like it it's not like showing up as much as like i would have wanted it to like it definitely looks more visible in the uh reference pictures the dirt but i mean i guess this is the best they could do still pretty cool though to see yeah i got lots of nice details here looks really cool i like this rowdy energy at food city toyota yeah, pretty cool diecast to have. I like it. It looks a lot more uh, vibrant on camera. But in person, it's a lot uh, duller, unfortunately. But, I mean, hey, what are you what are you going to do? Yeah, definitely, I prefer how it looks on camera. On camera, it looks a lot better than uh, in person. But it's still cool to have regardless. Still looks pretty nice. And uh, I do actually have something to compare it with. Uh, if I can grab it. Come on. Okay, there we go. Here's another 51 truck and All right, sorry. I was dusting that off really quick because it was super dusty. I still didn't even get all of it Okay, whatever. Uh, this is Kyle Busch's uh, Beechcraft Slash uh, Cessna car or truck I should say just for a quick little comparison now that we have two 51 trucks Pretty cool to have uh, two 51 KBM trucks finally because I've had this one for a while, so this is my second one. And uh, both cup drivers. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it's uh, I guess it's normal to have the 51 truck be a leech. But uh, yeah, pretty cool to have. Uh, I don't think there is anything else to cover with this one. So, let's go ahead and... Oh, actually, it does have uh, the features. Actually, we can compare that for the dirt race so you can see the much bigger uh, little uh, opening like ducks there then you can also see these little things I have no clue what they're for these dots but uh, I think it's maybe to reinforce the the windshield or something I have no clue what it's for exactly but uh, yeah I thought I'd point that out I just realized but yeah still pretty cool now, let's go ahead and move on to the next diecast. Alright, so next up we have this California Kid car. I have no clue who this is. I don't know if maybe this is supposed to be a nickname for someone, or maybe it's just some made-up car. Uh, if one of you guys could let me know in the comments down below, that'd be great. But yeah, I have no clue what this is supposed to be. <laughs> who it's supposed to be. And all I know is that it's a Buick. That's all I know. <laughs> but yeah, still pretty cool. It's a solid scheme. I like it. Uh, just the basic uh, white and red with a little bit of blue highlights looks pretty good. Back's a little plain, but that's all right. Yeah, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so next up we have Brett Bodine's Quaker State car. 
Uh, it reminds me of Chick Hicks because uh, of this little thing and the fact that it's a green car. Uh, the only thing it's missing is the number 86. If it was 86 instead of 26, I would literally freak out. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, this one also has the uh, Racing Champions tires. Like, uh, which one was it? It was this one. That has the Racing Champions tires instead of Goodyear or Hoosier. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty basic diecast. Again, plain on the back, just like some of the other ones. But uh, it's got the sponsor logos on the sides and the hood. That's all that really matters. Uh, 26 on top and the sides. It's a little messed up there. I don't know if that's... Because uh, this one came loose without a box. So either that's uh, damage from whoever had it before or that's the way it came. But yeah, still pretty cool nonetheless. Nice to uh, add chick hicks to my collection. No, but yeah, still pretty cool. Let's go to move on to the next one. All right, let's move on to a guy I don't know at all. This is Sammy Smith. Again, I have no clue who this guy is at all. You can see this stuff on the back. Yeah, um, I see that they're using the Hendrick font. At least the font that Hendrick likes to use. Or at least one that's very similar. Yeah, it does look very, very similar to the Hendrick font. I don't know if it is for sure, but it does look very extremely similar. Maybe there's like some slight differences, but to me it does look very reminiscent of the uh, Hendrick font. So I don't know if this is some Hendrick thing I don't know about. Affiliate, I have no clue. Actually, maybe not. I just realized it's a Ford, so probably not. Uh, and as far as I know, Hendrick's been Chevy forever, unless... Again, I don't know because I need to learn some stuff. So if you guys know anything about this guy, let me in the comments. Let me know in the comments down below. This one actually does have something on the back, but it doesn't have it on the deck lid. So that's interesting to see. Uh, but this is Bull and Hannah's Meat Snacks. Very interesting sponsor. Uh, TMC Transportation as well. It's a nice solid car. Plain black, but the... Uh, yellow or not yellow orange and uh white highlights of the logos makes it look pretty cool and also like all the contingencies filling up space doesn't make it bad so that's pretty cool and yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next one all right getting back to some of the newer diecasts we have daniel suarez's tootsie's car uh this is a fairly new sponsor new last year uh Looks pretty cool. Got a sticker. Again, I don't like the stickers, so let's go to move that to the side. I like the paint scheme, though. Love having these, like, pink and uh, orange... Or not orange. Pink or and purple cars on the track always look really nice. Um, yeah, really cool paint scheme. You can see lots of little details. Looks like brick, like a brick wall in the background. Looks really cool. Again, like, the designer for uh, track house. Kyle Skies or Skeets or something like that. Uh, great designer. He's been designing for them since last year. Always puts out banger paint schemes. Always amazing looking cars. And this one, again, does not disappoint. Very, very cool looking car. Love adding this to my collection here. And we can go ahead and compare it with the iFly car. Uh, since this is my second ever track house car. To, so these are the only two track house cars I own as of right now. Gonna have to have a lot more soon uh, with Ross Chastain joining Trackhouse. And I like Suarez anyway. Suarez and Chastain are both in my top 10 favorite drivers. Not in the top 5, but both solidly in the top 10. So yeah, always cool to see. Daniel Suarez, uh, Hispanic Mexican driver. I am also Hispanic, so, you know, Suarez has always got a soft spot if, in my heart. You know, if he's ever in contention to win, even if Chase Elliott's in contention to win, if Suarez is up there, I want Suarez to win because, you know, I want Hispanics, Latinos to succeed in NASCAR. And uh, Suarez has got a real good shot at it. He's uh, been looking pretty fast. So uh, we'll see if he can get himself a win pretty soon here. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the next diecast. All right, moving on to an absolute banger of a paint scheme right here. Uh, from one banger to another, Brad Keselowski's e casket car. They're basically using the same one for uh, Austin Cedric and Harrison Burton this year. 
But this was the first one. The original one looks amazing. I love this car. I absolutely love this car. Oops, I forgot the uh, little sticker here because it's so irrelevant. You can take a look at it if you want, but I don't like to because I don't like the stickers. But uh, yeah, very, very good looking car. When they first came out with this car and I saw it for the first time, I absolutely loved it. And I could not wait until they made the die cast. And now I finally have it, and it's such a great looking car. Again, it does look better on camera, actually, for some reason. Like, I don't know what what Lionel does, but, like, they just make the diecast look so much more... Uh, less saturated. Like, on camera, it definitely looks a lot better. It looks like how it did on track, but in person, it just looks so off. Which is a shame, because it's such a great car, and ugh, it looks so great on camera. But in person, it's a little, it's a little less saturated, which is unfortunate. But I mean, what can you do? It still looks great regardless. I mean, it's such a really cool looking paint scheme. This is m probably my favorite Brad Keselowski paint scheme of all time. It's so good. It looks, it reminds me of like Tron. Like it just looks so sick. Really amazing. And I mean. The Freightliner car had a glow up in 2021 because we went from this plain disgusting thing to this amazing looking die cast. Such a cool looking car. And there's a comparison right there. I mean, what is there even to compare? This blows it out of the park. I mean, such a great paint scheme. Like, forget that. I'm throwing that away. No, I'm joking. But yeah, such a great scheme. Let's go to move on to the next one now. All right, so next up, we have Chase Elliott's Napa Atlanta Children's Hospital thing. Oh, here it is. I forgot the exact name of the hospital. So, uh, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta Hospital. Uh, or is it a hospital? I think, I think it is. Um, but yeah, I love that Napa and Chase Elliott did this. Uh, letting the kids design his car, the fire suits... Like, it, it was so cool. I really hope they do it again this year. Because it, I mean, this turned out great, honestly. Like, I was surprised Napa even let them uh, mess with, like, the logo on the side here. Obviously, they didn't let them do it up here or over here. But, yeah, it looks really great. Like, honestly, it looks so good. It looks really clean. Props to the girl who uh, designed this car, because it looks so cool. And the yellow spoiler from the playoffs and the little banner here makes it, like, so much better, too looks really cool like it came out great like such a great car oh i just realized the napa logo on the front like it isn't blue it's like a on camera it looks purple but in real life it looks like a brownish black color so that's interesting let me actually grab another napa car here and you can see the difference i mean yeah i did not realize that till just now I'm going to have to look back at pictures of the actual car to see if that's, like, accurate because, well, I did not notice that at all. That's actually really cool. I love that Napa uh, let them change up the logo and stuff. That's really neat. Yeah, that's super cool. Scheme came out great. Uh, you got a little hope thing here. If it would want to focus for me. Come on. Oh, here's a girl's name. Okay, come on. It wants to focus. Mary. That's who it was. Mary Francis Webb. Very, very cool car. Um, actually, on the Chase Elliott YouTube channel, if you guys want to go and look, I highly recommend. Uh, he made a vlog about it. It's a two-part vlog. But, I mean, it is really cool. Like, it's worth the watch. I definitely recommend watching it. It was really cool. Uh, it's watching the vlog, seeing how it all came together, how it went, the experience. It was really cool. Definitely recommend you guys check it out if you have the time. And yeah, such a great scheme. Looks really cool. Love the gold number nine. I even love that they let them change the the nine itself, like the design of it. Like, I mean, look at this. Like, it's still reminiscent of the old one, but like they still let them change it up. So that's really cool. I really hope they let them do it again this year because it came out really great. It looks cool. And it's for a great cause too. So why not? Anyways, let's go to move on to the next one. All right, and what better way to get back to the older diecast than with a throwback diecast? So, after we're done with this one, we'll be going back to the old diecast. So, here we have Corey LaJoy's 
number seven throwback Zertex car to Alan Kuwiki. Very, very cool car. Got Zertex, Corey LaJoy, number seven. Again, it's a sticker, so I don't really care. <laughs> Yeah, very, very cool throwback paint scheme. This one came out great. One of the best throwback cars schemes, in my opinion. Looks really cool. A little plain back here, but still very, very cool. Came out really nice. Really, really nice. I really like this. That came out so cool. I wish I had the original car to compare it with, but... Yeah, very, very cool. Maybe I'll see if I can get my hands on it one day, but regardless, very, very cool with the throwback car. Looks really nice. Stands out great, too, which is always really nice. And, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for the uh, newer diecast. Now we'll go back to all the old vintage diecast. And speaking of throwbacks, this car got a throwback fairly recently. I think it was 2019 or 2020. Uh, but this is Jeff Gordon's number one Baby Ruth car that he ran. And I believe this was his first NASCAR stock car that he drove, if I remember it correctly. If not, please correct me in the comments down below. Uh, I would I like to be informed. Uh, yeah. Very, very cool die cast. The tires. I, the tires on these older cars sometimes are so ridiculous. Like, they're all sticking out. They're ginormous, humongous in size. The lettering's huge. It's it's hilarious, honestly. Like I like a part of me doesn't like it because like you know I like it to be accurate, but at the same time I also really like it just because of how stupid it looks. Like it's so stupid it looks good. You know what I mean? But yeah, very very cool diecast to have a Jeff Gordon car. And this is the car I was talking about that did a throwback to it, even with the same number font, the same sponsor too. Only real difference is uh. This one's a Ford, one's a Chevy, pretty much. Uh, and this one has slightly more logos going on. But that could also be just because uh, this one, they might have not printed all the decals on it, like on the diecast, and the real one might have had more. But yeah, still very cool nonetheless. Very, very cool. I really like uh, this diecast. Go to move uh, the throwback to the side. And nice to have a really old Jeff Gordon car. Like, usually the ones you see are like the Rainbow Warrior or the Flames cars. Now, this is this is the OG Jeff Gordon car. It looks really cool. I really like that I'm, I'm able to own this now. And, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next I guess. All right, so next up we have John Andretti's uh, Philsbury Grands car. Looks really cool. I love this paint scheme. It looks really, really cool. Uh, got the Dodge 43. Looking really nice. That looks so cool. Such a great paint scheme. Honestly, the 43 paint schemes back in the day were all, like, super cool. Like, the Gen 4 43 cars, all the paint schemes for them were fantastic. Great amount of detail, coloring looks so clean super super good i really like this and i do actually have another one of uh i think this is also john andretti as well Let's just double check yep it is uh the pop secret car looks very cool both on the uh, dodge body just to compare the two very very cool die cast yeah i I like this scheme better. This one has like better contrast because of the yellow, but I definitely like this actual scheme of this one better. And I love it when die cast or when schemes in general have like just pictures on them of something. Like I always think that's pretty neat. It makes it funny. Yeah, very very cool. I like this. Very cool. Let's go to move on to the next one. And speaking of Andretti, let's go to move on to Mario Andretti. Uh, here we have a nice card here, Mario Andretti. Season 1967 Ford Fairline or Ford Fairlane. Got his little signature there. Stock car legends. Johnny Lightning. Nothing on the back, unfortunately. I usually like it when stuff's on the back. Yeah, this die cast is super cool. Let me show you guys something. Why does Lionel not have this amount of detail? It baffles me. Look at that. The hood opens. Look at that. A NASCAR die cast with the hood opening. 
Lionel, step your game up, please. And this is metal too, rubber tires. I mean, Lionel, what are you doing? Get get back to the good old days. Like this is some amazing die cast here. Got the Firestone tires. Looks so great. Like this is a great looking die cast. Like you can just tell, like they put a lot of effort and detail into making these cars back in the days. Like nowadays they're just made they're, they're made so cheap now. And I will give Lionel some props. They're starting to make the, the die cast chassis with like the metal chassis and rubber tires. And those actually look pretty nice. But they're like five dollars more expensive. Like and bro, come on. This was I looked at the tag. This said it was four ninety nine. I mean, even with inflation, I mean, come on, $14 for something that was $5 back in the day. I mean, come on, come on. Lionel needs to get, get their stuff together because, I mean, this, this is what we want. This looks amazing. Super, super cool. Tons of detail. Looks really, really cool. Yeah, I just need to keep taking a look at it just because it's so cool. Got the 11s. On the sides and the deck lid. I, I I love it when, like, the numbers on the deck lid. It's so funny. Or the hood. Like, I just think that's so funny. You got the 427... Was it CI or CL? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, super cool. Looks great. Looks fantastic. Really, really cool die cast. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one now. All right, so this is the oldest one of the lot. Jolie Johnson. It says on the card here, uh, number 77, Jolie Johnson. Jolie was especially popular with race fans. I remember his exploits in this 57 Chevy. So, I have no clue who Jolie Johnson is. I'm going to be honest. So, if you guys can let me know in the comments down below uh, who he is, what he was all about. I don't know his race wins, what he did. Because uh, I have no clue. Again, deck lid number. Very, very cool. Nice feature. Honestly, someone should do a throwback scheme to this. This is a really nice scheme. Spire, you have the 77. Make this happen, please. This looks really sick. This car looks fantastic. Looks really, really cool. I like this one. Got the 220 horsepower. Jolie Johnson. Pure, honest, sharply speed shop. Really cool looking die cast. This looks great. Got the Firestone tires. And actually, I do have something to compare this one with. Uh, let me grab it here. So I actually have these two, uh, Dale Earnhardt and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, in this older style car. I've had these for a while now. And I finally have something to display them with <laughs> that actually matches. So yeah, that's pretty cool to have. Very, very cool. Instead of just sticking gen 4 schemes on them i actually have one that's you know accurate so that's cool to have jolie johnson pretty cool let's go to move on to the next one and i guess we might as well stick with the similar body style i was talking about and uh, move on to the richard petty car first let's go ahead and take a look at this card what the heck is this card bro <laughs> that's hilarious five decades of petty richard petty racing 50 years 43, 50th anniversary, 1960 car. Let's go and move that to the side. And take a look at the iconic number 43 car right here. This is pretty cool. Not too many, not too much detail going on here, unfortunately. Oh, actually, yeah, you can't see it now. Kind of wish it was uh, painted silver, though. Unless it was white on the actual car. If it was white on the actual car, okay. But if it wasn't, then I wish it was silver. Like, uh, this bad boy over here. But anyways, moving on, regardless. Very, very cool looking car. This looks great. What type of tires? Is this Goodyear? Yep, these are Goodyear tires. Really cool. Got the deck lid uh, number once again. 325 horsepower. Looks really sick. Uh, and again, let's go ahead and grab these two guys right here. Just to compare it with. And we can go ahead and grab uh, the Jolie Johnson car here. And I guess we'll grab another uh, Richard Petty car right here. Very, very cool to have uh, some more Richard Petty cars. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one now. All right, so next up we have a pretty cool one here. A late model, a Harry Grant car. 
Now let's go ahead and take a look at the cook. So here it is, Harry Grant Short Track Champions. Ooh, this one has something on the back. I was not expecting that. Home, Taylorsville, North Carolina, born January 10th, 1940. Harry Grant signature right there. Pretty cool. Uh, and it does come with a stand. I love having, I love that they come with stands, these older die casts. I wish Lionel would do that. Because sometimes I just want to display them and like have them elevated off the ground and I can't do that. I like, I'm literally going to use this for my display for a different card. Not even him. Like, I'm literally using it for something else. Like, I'm so glad that like a lot of these came with these stands because I'm going to use it for other things <laughs> in my collection. So yeah, that's going to be pretty nice. Or, not night, nice. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at the car itself. This is just your classic light model car. Uh, let's see, what what kind of tire is this? Goodyear tires, pretty cool. Uh, sponsored by Dylan, and that's it. Just Dylan. Number 33 car for Harry Grant. Looks cool. Got some green on the back bumper, but it is a primarily white car with a little bit of green underneath. Green numbers, looks pretty cool. I always wanted to go see a late model race. Uh, I don't know where to go. I don't know where they are in my area. But I do want to go to like a one of my local short tracks, if I do even have one in my area. And uh, go, watch one of, go watch a late model race, because they're always super cool. And this looks super cool. It looks mean. Like it, uh, I, I want to do a stop motion, with, even though I only have two of them right now. And the other one's back there. I just want to do a stop motion with them because it looks so fun to mess around with. Honestly, it looks super dope. And uh, yeah, let's go to move on to the next diecast. All right, so here we have Dick Trickle right here. Oh man, whoever named him must have hated him or something. <laughs> What's trickling down there? Anyways, <laughs> uh, here's a here's the card. Uh, has his name, picture of him on the back, has his hometown, just like the other one, uh, born October 27th, 1941, so just a year younger than uh, old Harry Grant here. Got his signature, looks pretty cool. Again, comes with the stand, I love that, gonna use that for some other stuff. And let's go ahead and look at the actual car itself, looks pretty cool, I love this color combination. Reminds me of the uh, older Lumar cars, or well I guess... The Lumar cars took inspiration from this one, technically, because this is older. Uh, but, but it does remind me of the Lumar cars with the uh, random blue with the uh, red, orange, and yellow color combination. Actually, let me just grab one of them. All right, so this was the only one I had, but the uh, this is the 2018 one, I believe, but the 2019, it was either 2019 or 2020. But that one really reminds me of this one uh sponsored by prototype racing engines and that's it <laughs> yeah really really cool i love this color scheme the white yellow orange red with the blue number and sponsor colors looks really cool i like it it's plain again just like the other one but i mean that's i mean most late models are pretty plain most of the ones you see at the local short tracks don't have that many sponsors on them or if they do it's very limited but you know that, that's what makes it so cool is that you know it's just you just take a car out you go run it at a track and uh hope to win so yeah looks pretty cool let's go and move on to the next one all right so next up we have a 1994 davy allison car or i guess remembering davy allison car but the uh it was made in 1994 but uh, it is remembering davy allison and uh this is a pretty cool car let's go to him and take a look at the uh card first if i can take it out there we go it's pretty stuck in there i love the gold plating it looks really cool i really like that it's nice and shiny it shines even more in person than on camera for once for once it looks better in person than on camera uh some of these die casts well then again it was the uh die cast from lionel that only looked better on camera so that's gonna tell you about quality of uh, now versus then uh, remembering Davy Allison, 1961 to 1993, right there. Does come with the stand again. Uh, this one, uh, I think I might just keep uh, the Davy Allison thing going together. Just keep that all combined together, and not uh, not use it for something else. I mean, I think it, this combination right here is pretty good to have. But yeah, taking a look at the car itself, it does look really cool. 
Got a uh, sponsored by Landcaster here, the number one. It's a really cool one font. It's got the regular one, then the one inside, and a star inside. Looks really cool. I like that. Uh, I've got Goodyear Large. Or no, Eagle. <laughs> I thought this said large for a second. I was like, oh, large. <laughs> uh, Landcaster Premium Chewing. Uh, something. <laughs> I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> Anyways, looks really, really cool. Very classic looking car. Uh, I think I do have diecast similar in body style to it. So this is a Dale Earnhardt 3 car. Very, I think this is this is the same model car, I'm pretty sure. And then this one's kind of similar. I think this one's an older one though. Yeah, no, this one's definitely older. So we'll put that to the side. But these two are definitely the same model for sure. But yeah, very, very cool. I like this. I love having these older diecasts. They're so much fun to have. Like, they just look cool. Like, I love, like, the... Like, just... Not even just the diecast, like, the actual, like, real-life cars in general. Like, I don't know. The older ones, the older style just looks so cool. Like, I love the new ones. But, like, I wish, like, they'd race the old ones every once in a while. <laughs> like, just for fun. Just because they're so cool looking, you know? They're very, uh iconic you know really cool to look at really cool to see probably to hear too they these were probably super loud cool engines fast cars yeah really really cool anyways let's go to move on to the next one all right so we had a dale earnhardt car to compare to uh davy allison car so let's go ahead and take a look at a dale earnhardt paint scheme on a truck but with a different driver that being mike skinner this is number three, good wrench truck. This is really cool. This is also has a uh, rubber tires, which is cool. Lionel has not done that yet for the truck cars or truck diecast, not truck cars. Um, yeah, really cool. The old trucks look so cool. Like, uh, let's just even compare new versus old. Both number threes look super cool. This is probably too big. Like, the scale is a little off, I'd say based off how much bigger it is in this one or maybe it's accurate actually maybe the uh, older ones were actually bigger but then again this one here is of similar size and then this one's just gigantic who knows but yeah still very very cool to have this uh, mike skinner number three good wrench truck really really cool i love seeing like just the cup schemes on trucks and xfinity cars it, it's, it just looks so cool especially the more iconic looking ones yeah, really, really cool car. We can uh, even compare it with the regular three car here. Yeah, it's just copy and paste. But it's so cool. Almost exactly the same. Little minor differences here and there. But yeah. Oh, stop scooting back. There we go. Yeah, really, really cool diecast to have uh, added to the collection. And yeah, let's go to move on to the next one. All right. All the rest are Dale, so we're doing it for Dale here. Um, this one does come with a card, the 1994 good Championship Good Wrench Chevy Lumina. Uh, Winter Circle Lifetime Series on the back. Ooh, got a bunch of information. Oh, so this is a 1994 championship car. Okay. That's pretty cool. Was this his last one? I don't, I don't remember specifically. Um, I think, I, is this his last championship car? I think it might be. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think this might be uh, the year that he won his last championship. Because I know Jeff Gordon started winning them right after he won his last one. Either that or there was like a one-year break in between. But I know uh, Gordon got in the way of Earnhardt getting his eighth and possibly even more. But yeah, really, really cool car to have diecast. Love uh, the old Chevy Luminas. They look pretty cool. We can go ahead and compare it again with the uh, same three car I was using before. This is, uh, this is a 2001 car, actually. This was one of the ones they made before uh, his tragic passing in the 2001 Daytona 500. And I guess we can also bring up the truck, just so you can see all three of them. The same 
Same paint scheme, pretty much the Intimidator scheme. Very iconic looking car. Hopefully they can do a throwback to this paint scheme eventually. Hopefully uh, Teresa Earnhardt lets go of the uh, the reins and just lets them lets them do a throwback scheme to these schemes because they're honestly amazing and they need some recognition. So yeah, let's go to move on to the next diecast. All right, so next up we have Dale Earnhardt's 1980 uh, number two car. This is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at the card here. And it does have some information. There we go. Oh, I see Kale Yarborough somewhere in here. Let's go ahead and turn that light off. Get this light over here, just so that there's not a glare. And you guys can pause, read it if you want. Okay, so 1980, the season. So this is sophomore season. Pretty cool. Oh, so this was the year he won his first championship then? If I'm reading that correct? Yes, I think so. All right, that's pretty cool. That's a fun fact. I, like, I, I remember learning about, like, when he won his championships, but I, like, I forgot the years because it's been a while. So, yeah, always good to uh, have a nice refresher. Very, very cool. Let's take a look at the car itself. Again, these older cars look so cool. This Dale Earnhardt number two, the yellow and blue looks super cool. Let's take a look at that. That looks so cool. Don't even need a sponsor to make it look cool. Like, it has some on, like, the sides, but, like, the front. Like, you don't even need a sponsor for that to look cool. That just looks awesome. Super, super cool. Get that rear spoiler. Yeah, I love these older diecasts. They look so cool. So glad to be able to own some. Got the Goodyear tires. Yeah, very, very cool. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next and final diecast of the day. All right, and here it is, Dale Earnhardt's 1995 Dodge, number eight. Uh, got the little card here. And, all right, let's do the same thing. Oh, actually, you don't even have to turn off this light. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's see, Dale's first stock car. Okay, so this is his first start. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Did not know that this was uh, his first start car. I knew he drove the 8, like, at the beginning of his career. But I did not know that, like, this car specifically was uh, his first start car. So that's pretty cool. Did not know that. Really, really cool to have this car, then. The number 8. This looks so funny, but so cool. At the same time, this little, like, part sticking out. I have no clue what the point of it is, but it looks cool. <laughs> yeah, really cool to finally have some of these uh, older diecasts. Very fortunate to have gotten these too. Got uh, got them on an auction off eBay. I won the bid at the last second, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, really cool to own some of these. Very fortunate. And yeah, that's going to be it. This is the last diecast of the video. All right, so that is all 27 diecast plus a Funko Pop. <laughs> I just include it because why not? <laughs> but yeah, really, really good, solid haul today of new and old diecast from the decades, from the generations of NASCAR's history. Really cool. We actually, I think we have a car from every decade, right? Because every decade that NASCAR has been around, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so this is from the 50s. This one's from the 60s. Uh, the 70s was this one. Or no, 70s was this one. 80s was this one. And then, I mean, over half of these are 90s, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I know this one's 90s for sure. Um, then let's see. I also know this one's 90s. Uh, this one's 2000s for sure. And this is the 2010s. Yeah. So that is really cool, actually. Huh. <laughs> I did not realize that till just now. Like, I knew, like, it was from a bunch of decades, but I did not know it was from basically every single decade. That's pretty cool. Uh, 
So yeah, literally have <laughs> all the decades of NASCAR here in just one diecast all video. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy that. It's almost been going for an hour now. So if you guys uh, watch the whole thing, let me know in the comments down below by saying, hmm, what can I have you guys say? How about comment decades if you got through the whole video. Just comment decades if you got through the whole video and you're seeing this right now. And if you are watching this and you watch the whole thing, comment in decades. I really appreciate you for watching, sticking through the whole thing, uh, through this whole unboxing, looking at all these new diecasts with me. I have no clue where I'm going to fit all these in my collection, but I'll, I'll make room. I'll manage. But yeah, this is going to be really cool to figure out how to add to my collection. And my shelf. Probably going to have to get another shelf some sometime. But yeah, really cool. Well, I'll have another one of these soon. Not with as many cars, but uh, there should be a haul of 7 plus 4, like 11. A haul of 11 at least. Uh, next time I do one of these. So, I will see you then. If you guys didn't enjoy, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy, as always, and bye bye